Introduction to Project Beam, Kapirina Noel. Welcome to Project Beam and Kapirina Noel. Project Beam is funded by the U.S. Department of Education, Jacob K. Javits Gifted and Talented Students Education Program. Our word S206 A1714. Kapirina Noel is funded by the U.S. Department of Education. Native Hawaiian Program, a word S three six two A seventeen hundred thirty one. Overview of presentation. In today's presentation, we will discuss introduction, background problem, project goal, locations. Identification method, being Capilina Noel model and components, questions and answers. Background problem Native Hawaiian, Pacific Island, Native American, and Hispanic students are underrepresented and the least studied in gifted and talented education also known as GATE, and Science, Technology, Engineering, and Mathematics, also known as STEM fields. Minority groups have been traditionally significantly underrepresented in GATE programs and STEM fields. The goal of No Child Left Behind, which ended in 2015, was to narrow the achievement gap among demographic subgroups of K through 12 and bring a large proportion of students to a basic and proficient levels of educational attainment in national and state assessments. However, differences between subgroups of students performing at the highest level of achievement, especially among minorities, have received little attention Plucker and Peter, 2016. According to the U.S. Bureau of Labor Statistics, in 2017, the STEM workforce will grow faster than any other sector in the coming years. However, in terms of demographics, indigenous and Hispanic population is significantly underrepresented in these STEM fields and their underrepresentation has been a growing national concern for over a decade. Indigenous and Hispanic students tend to take fewer advanced math courses than their peers, and there is limited access to the advanced math nationwide. In addressing the underrepresentation of target students in GATE and STEM fields, algebra is considered a gatekeeper course of STEM, which means students must master this content before they will be successful in not only higher level of math, but other STEM courses. There Although there is a strong link between successful completion of algebra and success beyond high school, there is a persistent inequity in access to rigorous algebra course due to issues of placement, preparation, and quality of instruction for minority and low-income students. Project Goal Project B Capilina Noel is a five-year research project. The goal is to increase the number of mathematically promising middle school indigenous or Hispanic students who demonstrate high levels of math achievement and enter science, technology, engineering, and mathematics honors programs in high school. Location. Our study 
is in 18 schools across three states or a jurisdiction. Our study is a multi-site study with student demographics of 547th and 8th grade Indigenous or Hispanic students. We are at 18 middle schools in Hawaii, Arizona, and the Commonwealth of Northern Mariana Islands, CNMI. In Hawaii, we are at 10 schools. On the CNMI, we are at 2 schools. In Arizona, we are in 6 schools. The headquarter is located at the University of Hawaii at Manoa Center on Disability Studies and we are collaborating with Northern Arizona University and Northern Marianas College. Identification Non-Traditional Approach We identify 7th or 8th grade students who have potential in mathematics through a two-step procedure. First, Native Hawaiian, Native American, Pacific Islander, or Hispanic 7th or 8th grade who have received A or B in a math course prior to his or her algebra course will be identified. Then, from those pool of students, we administer the Multiple Intelligence Developmental Assessment Scales, MIDAS, to students. We also administer scales of identified gifted students, six home scale to parents, and six school scale to math teachers. Students rated to have a high potential, aptitude, and interest in math in any of the three scales will be invited to participate in our project. What is the Bean Kapilina Noyal model? The Bean Kapilina Noyal model is based upon three evidence based models Renzuli School Wide Enrichment Model, Kapilina Model, and Ne Papakahana Model. The Bean Kapilina Noyal model provides academic acceleration and enrichment in mathematics, cultural and problem based hands on learning, and blended learning. Participating students will work with mentors for 12 weeks or 60 hours. Component 1. Math Exploration For 30 minutes per week, students will be exposed to STEM Community Building Activity, Role Model Interview Viewing, Math Career Exploration Activities, learning how math is everywhere, math behind music and sports, and math in different cultural contexts. Component 2, Collaborative Problem-Based Learning Practices. Students will learn how to solve real-world problems using math skills and work collaboratively with their classmate through an online platform. Their mentor or tutor will guide them through a critical thinking process in order to identify real-world problems and work towards a solution. The four real-world problems that they may potentially explore are climate change, plastic pollution, overfishing, and agricultural innovation. Component 3, Math Project Development and Learning Profile. One of the first things that our students do is utilizing Renzuli Learning System, a web-based program that can recommend online activities and resources based on who they are. First, our students get to know themselves better through their individual student profile. Through this profile, they become more aware of their top three interest areas. 
learning preferences, and how they like to express what they know. In the screenshot above, this student is interested in technology, science, and math. She expresses herself the best verbally, such as speeches or debates, hands-on activities, such as making 3D models or conducting a laboratory experiment. An audiovisual display, like graphic blogs. She also discovered that she learns best through discussion, lectures, and games. Students utilize this knowledge to select a topic for their math project based on their interest areas and then present their project using one of their preferred expression styles. Component 3 continued math project development. After the students receive their profile results, online activities and resources of different types are recommended to them from a database of over 40,000 internet sources that has already been vetted by this education company. We guide students to use the program following Renzulli's en Enrichment Triad model. First, students will explore type 1 activities, which are exploratory and designed to expose the students to a wide variety of disciplines, topics, occupations, hobbies, persons, places, and events that are not covered in the regular and traditional curriculum. These include virtual field trips, real field trips, websites, fiction and nonfiction books, summer programs, online activities and classes, and video and DVD. At this stage, students will explore and choose a real-life problem of their interest. Then, students move on to Type 2 activities, which are designed to develop their creativity, problem-solving, and critical thinking skills as well as research skills. These include creative training, critical thinking, how-to books, and research sites. At this stage, students will learn and practice to apply problem-solving steps. Component 3 continues math project development. Type 3 enrichment activities are individual or small group investigation of real problems based on students' interests and skills with the aim to produce a product for real audience and gradually they select their topic for their project. At this stage, students will find the best solution to the identified problem as applying mathematical procedures and thinking as a small group or alone and with mentor guidance and present their project to the public in the end. Student project can take a variety of formats because students choose how they want to express what they learned. Students can also submit their project to our online math project competition. The winner will receive a scholarship. Here, there is an example of a student who is interested in sports to explore how math is involved in sports. Component 4, Online Math Program Use. In addition, we also ask students to use a math online program for one hour per week. Using online math program provides individualized math acceleration appropriate to one's own math level. Component 5, Hands-on Culture-Based Math Activities. Finally, the third component of the program is our culture-based hands-on activities. Students develop their math skills through culturally relevant and interactive ways. This will help them solidify their understanding of math and how math can be fun and applicable in their life. Activities include topics on solar energy, 
building a canoe, computer programming, and sustainable farming. Component 6. Service Learning Parents, mentors, and students were invited to one of our service learning days. Service learning projects will be a fun way to utilize their math skills to help others, community, or the environment. Component 7. Parents and Children Together Parents, teachers, and community members will be invited to our five parent workshop series. Each workshop will last two hours and cover different topics such as gifted minority students and evidence-based algebra teaching strategies. For the second part of the parent workshops, parents will learn culture-based hands-on math lessons that they can do at home with their children or students. The purpose of these parent workshops are to connect parents and children together and build a community of learning at home, as well as to bridge home and school. Parents, teachers, and community members who went through the workshops are then invited to serve as volunteer mentors in their students' classrooms when they work on their math projects. Component 8, Advisory Board. The project has an advisory board composed with gifted education specialists, cultural experts, middle school math experts, ethnomathematicians, and indigenous education experts from Hawaii, Arizona, and the Commonwealth of Northern Marianas Island. The advisory board shares the vision, guides cultural adaptations of the lessons, and assessments, supports the recruitment and access to community, schools, parents, and students, and collaborates to disseminate the products. Do you have any questions? If you have any questions, Please review our website at www.cds.hawaii.edu slash projects slash beam or email us at javitsprojectbeam at gmail.com.